Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink. After a few days of not posting or uploading much of anything, I have updates on my social media. I finally got my root canal, so I'm just in recovery mode, but it's getting better. So, finally got a chance to make my card for this week's color throwdown challenge. I honestly, I did have difficulty with this one. It just... I didn't know what to do. Part of that probably was also all the tooth pain and everything. But it's funny. It like the idea for this card just kind of popped in my head in the middle of the night. And it's one of those times where it, like the card basically just makes itself. Like I had everything, the whole idea, layout, stamps, everything. So I finally sat down and got a chance to create it. So I just have some smooth white cardstock here and I'm stamping these feather images from Honey Bee's 10 Things stamp set. This is an older set that I got quite some time ago and I just I just love the details of the feathers. This is just a small little set and I stamped all three of the feathers onto this white cardstock with um, MFT's cement gray ink and then I was going to tr um, use my like honeybee A2 stitched rectangle um, wafer dies to cut it out because that's just what I do but this time I decided to cut it down to about three and a half inches wide and it's going to fill like the front like it's five and a half inches high so it'll be like a panel on the front of my card and then for my sentiment for some reason I thought I had the thanks die from honeybee and I don't so I need to rectify that and get it because I absolutely love their word dies because one they're huge and they come with like all the layers like the outline and the stitch out or the pierced outline like they're awesome this one I don't have so what I did was I have the large thanks stamp. The stamp is huge and I love it. So I stamped that onto a piece of vellum and I heat embossed it with Avery L's rose gold embossing powder. And it's, oh, this is just, it's the prettiest embossing powder. So technically this color combo for this week's color throwdown challenge is gray, black, and kind of ivory or off-white. My computer monitor was translating it more as almost like a pink shade. So I went with that because I really wanted to add that color and just the rose gold embossing was so pretty. So I'm actually using um, MFT's Insulation Pink, which is, it's kind of a level between off-white ivory and pink. It's, it's a very almost neutral shade in a way. It's really pretty. It's one of those colors that at first you're like, eh. But then once you have it, it's like, I reach for this one quite often actually. So I added just a little strip of um, coordinating cement gray cardstock to that piece I'd stamped with the feathers just to kind of ground this sentiment. And after I'd heat embossed, I just trimmed out with my scissors. It would have been so much easier if I'd had the coordinating die, <laughs> but I will get those eventually. So I just trimmed it out with my scissors and then I used um, my little Doris foam strips and just put those behind the sentiment because thankfully it's big enough that it was easy to do. So I could pop that up and it just gave it a ton of dimension. And then I went really old school here and tore the edge of my black cardstock. I haven't, this used to be like a thing, you know, back before we had wafer dies or anything really. Like we basically just had stamps and ink and that was about it. Um, we'd always like tear the edges of the cardstock and distress it. And like, that was, how, you know, what we did. So I haven't done this in forever, but I thought that would just give a nice edge to this. So I adhered the feather cardstock with my um, Zyron tape runner to the black cardstock. And then that way it gave me um, a visual guide of where to tear the other side of that. So it's somewhat even. So, and then I kind of curled up a couple of the little edges and then applied adhesive again to the back of this so that I can adhere it to my card base, which is that insulation pink cardstock. So my card base is standard A2 size, so four and a quarter by five and a half. And this panel just happened to be slightly too long for the card front. So I'm just gonna line that up in my little Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer and trim off that fraction of an inch that was kind of hanging over there. And then for the inside of the card, I'm using Honeybee's Thanks and Giving set. This set is massive. This is one of their great big six by eight sets that has a million sentiments in it. They have tons of sets like this and they're awesome because you can just build pretty much anything you want. So I pulled a several stamps from it so that it could spell out um, words cannot describe how thankful I am for you. And then you can't really see this on camera or in the pictures. It's very subtle, but I inked up the feathers again with the coordinating insulation pink ink. It's very faint. You can see it in real life, but it just gives like a very tone on tone sort of a look. It just kind of finishes off the inside of the card. So I did that. 
And then I pulled out some Honey Bee Pirate Black Half Pearls to add as my embellishment. And I was going to leave it at that. So I got my few kind of pearls laid out how I want on my card front. And then I'm just picking them up with my little Marvie Jewel Picker and adhering them into place with little dabs of Multimedia Matte. And then when I finished this card, I was like, it's just, it's missing. It needs something. And I ended up deciding to add some Spectrum Noir Clear Glitter with the Clear Glitter brush pen. This step you would definitely could just do before adhering everything to it, but this was a complete afterthought on my part. And it worked because it's clear glitter, very easy to add. It's not, you know, it'd be different if I was trying to like color in these feathers or anything like that after I've adhered everything. But I just went along and added glitter to them. I didn't completely coat the feathers. I just added, you know, a fair amount of glitter though, because it's pretty. And like right this moment, you can't really see it, but the minute it hits the light, the sparkle, oh, this is one of my favorite glitter pens because the sparkle is basically clear with almost like a silver shimmer. So I went on and added that and then I held it up to the light so I could see, you know, what areas I'd missed that I wanted to fill in. And then I'm going to turn on my little flashlight on my phone so you guys can actually see the sparkle. In real life, it's just so, so pretty. I just love it. And of course, now that I've pulled this out again after not having used it for the last however long, I want to add like clear glitter sparkle to everything. <laughs> So that finished off today's card. Very, very simple, quick, and easy. And again, if I was to redo it, it would take no time at all, but I was flying by the seat of my pants. So thank you all so much for joining me. Um, I will have links below the video to my blog post. I'll have a link to the Color Throwdown Challenge in my blog post as well, so you can check that out if you're interested. And I will see you all hopefully very soon in another video. Bye.